Here she is, the first christening of the new tank. About 100 gallons total capacity. Probably runs 80, 85 as she sits right now. Don't actually have the filter in it yet. I'll put the filter, but this is my circular horizontal filter. Should allow, us, allow me to run this at varying water levels so we don't need it totally full. Got two rule 1100 gallon per hour pumps, two Danco LV11 Venturi's down there in the bottom, and two drains, in floor drains, one each side, and then two return grates. All these are removable. So I can something gets in there, clean them out. I can also change out these grates. Probably will try some different uh, different designs here to see what works best for flow and current. Definitely seems to be doing good with air. And the uh, over on this side, don't know if you'll be able to see it. Where is she? Over here. Somewhere down there. Somewhere down there. There's another grate. Oh, right here. You can't see it. Uh, maybe you can just make it out down there. There's a O2 stone in the floor under a, another grate. Mm, can't make it out. Uh, we'll be able to hook up to an O2 tank. We really need to juice it up. I think some of y'all know what's going to go in this tank. It's 40 and a half inches in diameter, outside diameter. We've got an inch of two part polyurethane expanding foam inside the walls eighth inch walls half inch starboard we've got a little control center down here haven't totally finished up the air valves but we've got controls for both of our pumps controls for the light and we have an external plug down here for a pump to pump water in and out of the tank it's just one pump running right now Air is wide open on this these venturis, so I can speed the current up by cutting back on some of the air, of course. Pump more water and less air. Do have salt in here now. There, now you can get a look at the O2 injection grate. Take a look down. Dual returns, dual pumps, Venturi's, great little Danco Venturi's. I said those are the rule 1100 gallons. Hate the little new design with the screw on nozzle. Pain in the butt. It takes up way more room than it needs to. Do have, uh, we do have a um, little. Uh, uh, watertight connectors right here so that when the pumps need to be changed or if I want to change those out for 500s or 800s can do that without having to totally pull white new wiring nice waterproof connectors there and uh, let's see let's get her back going here two underwater CH marine lights I like white I know some of you guys like green some of you like blue I like white. Got a couple other little tricks in store for this tank. The lids over there, all stainless on the on the lid. Um, the screws in the down here are nylon. No rusting. Have to worry about the parts that are in the water all the time. Take a little dip. getting it slimy full of some bait that's gonna happen tomorrow look forward to an update later